All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. Now today I'm gonna be doing a guide on floor 100 of the Tower of Luna. Now I found floor 100 actually to be semi-difficult. Um, as soon as you find the right team though, especially for Tower of Luna, as soon as you find that right team that just clicks for you, you're good to go and you will end up winning. So I'll go ahead and showcase the teams here that I used in floor 100. All right, so this is the team that I used to beat Floor 100. Now, Floor 100, I actually found a strategy where you want to bring out the Mifuyu uh, to come closer to you so that you're actually able to go ahead and snipe them with the Suzuna with her guaranteed crits, Shiori with just doing a ton of damage, and all that stuff. So what you want to do is you want to be bringing characters like Zuru, Kokoro, Suzuna, Shiori, and then Yui. Now, I've seen people run triple archers. They had Suzuna, Shiori, and then Orisa. Um, I tried that, but I found Yui to actually be much better to keep us alive from the physical damage and all that stuff they're going to be taking. Um, so Yui, I found to actually work super, super well here. So what you want to do is you want to kill the first character, and then Shizuru and Koko should last long enough uh, in order for you to make it to the Mifuyu. And then these two should end up dying. Suzuna and Shiori should be able to laser into Mifuyu and just do a ton of damage. And what's actually going to happen is that Mifuyu is going to come so far up that the actual boss that's going to be attacking you will be out of range from hitting you uh, with your own characters. So you cannot attack your characters since you're so far back so that you just only have to worry about the Mifuyu and it's going to be like three characters versus one Mifuyu. As long as your Suzuna can crit, as long as your Shiori does big damage, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. Pretty much the goal of that first team is you want to take out the Mifuyu as well as the Ayane. Um, Ayane will die first and then the Mifuyu will come up close to you and then you just laser her down with Suzuna and Shiori and then you're pretty much good to go. That is the only goal of the first team is to take out those annoying characters. Mifuyu is going to be doing a lot of damage. You do not want that to be hitting your next team and of course the team to clean up everything is going to be the triple tank team with Miyako, June, Nozomi, Makoto and then Tomo. Once again Tomo is a replaceable character. Uh, you could place her with characters like Hiyori, um, you could place her with a character like Arisa. There's a lot of characters you can replace her with. Summer Tamaki would maybe even work as well. Uh, but Tomo is just such a good character that I really don't recommend replacing her with anyone else unless you literally do not have her. Um, I think Hiyori is also a great character to have in there. Um, Arisa also really good as well. So pretty much that's going to do it for the teams that I used to beat for 100. And now I'll show you guys me beating it for the very first time. Enjoy. All right. I'm going to manual this one. We gotta let them come to us. Let them come to us. Remember that. Let them come to us. Take some big damage there. And now we're gonna heal it back up. Perfect. Shiori should be able to start universing here. Wonderful, wonderful. And Kokoro can heal herself back up to full. And there we go. She's gonna take that. Oh, she actually dodged. Wonderful. Okay, so now Kokoro is gonna have a ton of health to actually be able to not take a lot of damage really uh so there's a crit from you which is very nice uh there's also another attack with you uh we did get the single target healing in which is very nice and heal yourself up kokoro thank you very much sweetie and now we're gonna heal ourselves up with yui now we have the whole team at basically pointing at us which is pretty good uh so now we're gonna drop you like a fly we're gonna work on this next ad really quick i'm actually gonna save the universe with you and perfect so now we're gonna actually focus on to you and get you out of my face bam eat that crit eat this as well bam and oh gosh okay as long as you're dead that's that's all i really care about so you're dead that's fine and okay perfect i got those enemies out the way now it's just the boss that's exactly what we wanted did some really good damage there so now we're going to swap to the generalist team we're gonna do the triple tank team that I did before. So once again, we're gonna do Miyako. We're gonna do the Makoto. We're going to do Tomo and then the June and Nozomi team, just like this, just exactly how we had it for the last floor, uh, floor 90 for floor 100. It's gonna be the exact same thing. Now we just have to focus on the boss, which is literally it. So we got this, we're good to go 100%. These double tanks should be fine, 100%. So there we go. Um, this floor was pretty tricky. I'm not gonna lie. This floor was way trickier than the other, than floor 90 and floor 80. I thought floor 80 was pretty hard. Floor 90 was decently hard, um, but this one was definitely the hardest one so far. So we'll see. Um, I feel like floor 110 is going to be absolutely chaotic. 
but so far is so good for me so far so good for me i've been having a lot of fun playing on this 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 is really hard content i really i've really been enjoying this so far so there we go that is going to wrap up this boss fight and we should be able to do the final blows here in any second now I'm glad we were able to draw in the enemies close. Using those archers was really, really smart because we drew them really close to us so that the archers, uh, it would be out of range of the boss so that the archers would just have an easy cleanup job. And bam, there we go. Level 100 complete. Um, not too much to say about this one except for that team that I ran was a very smart idea. Whoever came up with that uh, double archer in the back line idea was really, really smart. Good job on that. And there we go. Floor 100 complete. Look at that. Floor 100 complete. All right. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the floor 100 guide. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Um, I found floor 100 once again to be probably the difficult stage. Uh, way harder than floor 80. Definitely way harder than floor 90. Um, but I know from fact that 110 and the EX floor are going to be way harder. Uh, 110 was an absolute pain. Uh, EX floor, though probably one of the easier ex4s i feel like ex4 was definitely easier uh this time around than the last time around we had it uh just because once you know the proper team the game pretty much becomes easy mode for especially on ex4 uh because it's kind of like ex4 is kind of like princess arena where you kind of have to just guess what the the team is going to be and how the teammates are going to work and all that stuff but once you get the right team and once you get the hang of things it starts working out really nicely for you so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video i will have the floor 110 as well as the ex4 going out tomorrow so stay tuned for those guides and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace out